If elegance is an English trait, then this setter sure suits its name. They're beautiful to look at. They're athletic. And they also have an air of goofiness and playfulness about them. An English setter joined Herbert Hoover in the White House. And in the 1930s, a setter named Jim gained fame for picking seven Kentucky Derby winners. Each year, he would pick a card with the winner's name. Hey, good boy! I like them, and it's not just because I'm English by origin. English hunters wanted the perfect bird dog and companion. So around 300 years ago, they began combining the Spanish Spaniel, the Water Spaniel, and Springer Spaniel, developing a dog that went into a unique stance or set when stalking game. These elegant looks are actually built for the hunt. Starting with a long, muscular neck, that flowing feathered coat is the setter's most distinguishing trait. The color pattern on their coat is known as Belton markings for the town of Belton, England. Belton comes in orange, blue, lemon, liver, and tricolor varieties, but they're all born with white coats. The English setter has a unique color, but it's probably one of the sweetest of all the setters. Setters can adapt to most home environments, but need plenty of exercise. The long feathered coat requires brushing every two days. Anything to do with hunting comes easy to a setter, but a stubborn streak might challenge trainers. They just require somebody to really help them to show their stuff. There are a few congenital conditions to watch out for. English setters can be prone to hip dysplasia and deafness. Setters are great with families, but can be a little timid around rough and tumble young kids. <laughs> English setters are good in an apartment if given daily exercise. They're prone to deafness and hip dysplasia. Setters require regular grooming, can challenge obedience trainers, and setters get along best in families mindful of the dog's sensitive side.